Hey, good morning. Long time no see. I've been doing a lot of things and I wasn't feeling really inspired to uh, make videos. So then I don't make videos because there are a lot of video makers out there that have amazing things to tell. And now I did feel inspired. So I want to tell, I want to give you a couple of things that will help you when you're not feeling too well. So the thing is, it's not only, in my opinion, it's not only Neville that can help us. And sometimes it's even that Neville's teachings will make us feel even worse because he says imag imagination creates reality, which is true. But there's a but to it and I will get to that. When you don't feel well and you think imagination creates reality and you can't get yourself out of that, you get scared because you're like, I can't get out of it, but imagination creates reality. And before you know it, you slide down this spiral and you feel even worse and worse and worse, which isn't helping. Bashar, who teaches similar to Neville, whose teachings are sim similar to Neville and Seth as well, they say that our soul, is, this is freely translated, protects, protects us. So whenever you're like, oh my God, I don't feel well, I'm going down this spiral, help, now I'm creating only terrible things. No, you don't because you also have your soul and your soul protects you. And usually when you go down this spiral and you feel really bad, it is just a release of old stuff, nothing else. And it is your job in that moment to realize that these are just thoughts. I don't have to go with them. And if you're going with them, you don't have to give them too much power. And you will know that you will get out of this as well, because that's what happens. That's how life goes. We feel good. Sometimes we feel crap. That's just how life goes. So whenever you're feeling crap, you know that you will feel better soon too. Okay, so this is one thing. Then the other thing is that um, the point of power is now. That's something that Seth says a lot of times. The point of power is now. Bashar also talks about multiple uh, parallel realities being here right now. Seth says it different and it doesn't really matter how anyone says it. What matters is, is that it's the truth, for me at least. And if it's the truth for you, then you also know that the moment that you start to feel different, you've switched to a different parallel reality which can also be helpful because sometimes you feel when you're not feeling well, you're like, this is, this is now my world, but it's not because you can switch super quickly whenever you get to feel better. And things that might help you feel better are things like, so don't go too big all of a sudden because you can't get from here to there in a second. You get from here to there, to there, to there, to there, to there. And then you're on the other side of how you would like to feel. So very easy might be, what do you appreciate in this very moment? That you can see through your eyes, that you can listen through your ears, that you're healthy, that you have beautiful long brown hair, that your mom is healthy, that your father is healthy, that you have a wonderful relationship with your sister. And obviously, if all these things aren't true for you, then find these things, these little things that are true for you. You have a super cute cat. You love where you live. And all these things will help you. So trust yourself. Trust your soul because you're not in this alone. You're never in this alone. And 
whenever you don't feel well and you go down that spiral know that there's nothing lost it's just a release of junk that is stored in your body crying is super good Bashar talks about this and I talked about this uh, before as well when you cry you release toxins out of your body so I have faith this helps and I will see you when I see you might be very soon might be a little less soon in the meantime I wish you beautiful creations and much love Mwah.